some negative intensities and the deliverability and number of intensity levels, moderate number gives good results. And we should use uh, a suitable energy for the uh, required beams. The dose calculation uh, depends on the uh, first correction, correction based algorithms uh, like uh, Clarkson, uh, model based algorithms like uh, superposition and the conventional convolution. Planning parameters, those volume constraints for target and for normal tissues, importance or weighting factors for the targets and the tissues, beamlet size, which controls the number of beamlets and beam energy and number of beams and the beam directions and number of intensity levels delivering limitations like uh, minimum monitor units beer segment or minimum segment to dimensions. Target dose in homogeneity in IMRT. The planner should know the following points before starting in IMRT planning. How large a hot spot is clinically significant and how much the pot, uh, PTV of the PTV can be allowed to receive less than the desired dose how much variation in target dose is acceptable for a particular normal tissue like rectum. In the, the IMRT plan design, we, um, we, we put the limitations for, of uh, the organs at risk and the minimum dose for the target uh, to, uh, for the TPS to allow it to uh, start the uh, dose calculation. Uh, like the uh, maximum dose to the organ at risk and the healthy tissue uh, and the minimum dose to the target. So also we should uh, consider, take into consideration the rank of the, of every organ at risk and uh, targets to uh, let the TBS uh, 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 start the calculation depending on that. We can control the uh, uh, size of the segments and the number of them uh, by choosing the uh, intensity level and, uh, and the, uh, the segment size to uh, have large or uh, large amount of uh, segmentation here is the uh, segmentation process for a process case. Uh, the intensity map uh, produced from the TBS uh, as a uh, as a matter we we uh, consider uh, on it. Uh, the IMRT process or, or the result of IMRT uh, can be uh, considered like the uh, sea beach uh, when the level of the uh, water uh, level uh, le water level at the beach uh, uh, is different from uh, one position to another. Methods of IMRT step and short method. Uh, where the uh, radiation start and off and the MLC start and off at different positions to uh, give us the uh, intensity map. Also the sliding window method, which uh, depends on the uh, continuous uh, MLC motion where uh, continuous radiation on. IMRT, IMRT for pelvic sites, minimizing toxicity with technology. Here we have the uh, IMRT for prostate cancer. This was one of the first sites in which IMRT was widely adopted. Uh, curative treatment for prostate cancer is uh, dose dependent. RTG, R RTOG uh, 126 improved the bio biochemical control for 79.2 uh, grays versus 70.2 grays. 
doses above 70 grays to uh, morbid with conventional radiotherapy organs at rest in close approximately uh, to prostate. Here we have a real uh, case or uh, prostate case at uh, our uh, hospital, treated at, at our hospital. Uh, and in the treatment planning, it is a contribution between the medical visit and the uh, radiation oncology. So uh, each of them should have uh, an, an idea on the, uh, uh, for, for uh, another one to achieve the uh, optimum planning and acceptable planning. In the next figure, we have uh, three uh, planning techniques for in this case. Uh, we can note that IMRT produces a more conformal treatment with radiation uh, to the desired target volume while decreasing its dose to the normal pelvic tissues, including small bowel, bladder, and rectum, and the, and the femoral heads. IMRT for cervical cancer, the total dose for pelvic radiation is 45 to 50 grays, lower uh, uh, rationale to use IMRT compared to, pros uh, to prostate. International trial of IMRT for cervix cancer showed decreased hematologic and GI toxicity compared to uh, historical data. And a uh, randomized uh, study compared comparing quality of life during pelvic radiation using IMRT compared to 3D CRT uh, showed decreased GI and GU uh, toxicity in the IMRT arm and the better quality of life. Here we have uh, a trial of uh, radiation therapy for cervical cancer and astroclinical uh, practice guideline. We have some recommendations for IM using IMRT to treat uh, cervical cancer. Uh, in women with cervical cancer treated with post-operative radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy, IMRT is recommended to decrease acute and chronic toxicity. Second, in women with cervical cancer treated with definite definitive uh, radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy, IMRT is conditionally recommended to decrease acute and uh, chronic toxicity. Uh, also, for women uh, receiving definitive uh, radiotherapy for intact cervical cancer, brachytherapy is recommended. Uh, and for women with cervical cancer receiving post-operative whole pelvic uh, radiation, Brachytherapy post is conditionally recommended in the presence of positive margins. Uh, for IMRT, the uh, IGRT technology should be taken in consideration according to, to its uh, uh, excellent importance in uh, application of IMRT. Uh, here we have the uh, study of problems and solutions in IMRT for cervical cancer. Uh, there are potential benefits of IMRT in the radical treatments for uh, of cervical cancer patients, both in terms of dose scalation and the decrease of toxicity. But it is essential to find the IGRT solutions to control the aspects that can lead to geographic mist targeting or organs at risk overdose. Uh, the study described the problems on, and possible solutions in the clinical implementation of IMRT and IGRT protocols to treat intact cervical cancer patients. The accuracy of IMRT delivery is affected by volume contouring and setup errors and inter and interfraction organ movements and uh, deformation. Uh, so. All these aspects are important, uh, important, but the most relevant in uh, cervical cancer is target and organ motion. Uh, here we can uh, note that in, uh, note in this figure the variations in the bladder and the rectum, uh, uh, the, the variation in, in, in uh, volumes according to the variation in bladder and rectum filling. 
here we can uh, see that uh, the bladder is full uh, more than the uh, other picture. Uh, here is the ch uh, changes in uterus and cervix position uh, with bladder filling, uh, like uterus and GTV and the bladder and rectum. So, uh, so we should uh, consider that uh, IGRT is very, very necessary in uh, using an uh, application of IMRT. Here we have a, ca a real case uh, that uh, 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 at, at the upper picture, A, uh, IMRT prostate case, uh, uh, the treatment the planning is CT with those color whoosh, A, and the KV comp MCT acquired with the patient in the treatment position on the treatment couch in the B picture. So we can note the difference between the uh, volumes uh, during uh, the treatment planning and the uh, treatment uh, process. The adaptive radiation therapy for before the treatment process, here we can see the difference between the two, two uh, pictures. In the simulation CT, we have a, 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 a volume of uh, prostate which is different uh, from the treatment uh, situation. Uh, also the rectum, uh, uh, distended rectum at treatment rather than the uh, CT simulation. Also the same uh, in this uh, picture. Here we can see the distended, distended uh, rectum uh, at treatment rather than the CT simulation. Uh, rectum at simulation with the uh, green light inside the large one. This is a very, very important uh, trial which uh, discusses the daily variations in uh, developed doses in patients treated with radi radiotherapy for localized prostate cancer. Here we can see the dose level for uh, every day during the treatment course, it, uh, it vary, uh, yeah, there are uh, large difference between uh, every day of treatment. So uh, we say that the adaptive radiotherapy uh, uh, IGRT uh, also very important in the application of IMRT process. This is some recommendation for the uh, breast cancer uh, treatment. Image-guided radiation therapy reduces GI toxicity without comparison pelvic uh, recurrence in the intermediate to high-risk cervical cancer. According to the final analysis uh, of the randomized phase one uh, Berger trial one presented and the 2020 American Society of Radiation Oncology Astro annual meeting which uh, was held virtually, experts said these results suggest image-guided radiation therapy for pelvic radiation may improve patients' uh, quality of life without com uh, compromising disease-free survival. Dosimetrically, studies have shown that uh, uh, intensely modulated whole pelvis radiation therapy treatments pla uh, treatment plans provide high, uh, highly uh, conformal dose to areas at risk uh, of recurrence with considerable sparing of surrounding normal tissues, including bone marrow, bowel, and kidney with extended paraortic treatment, spinal cord, and rectum, and bladder. Here we have a real case treated as uh, Adam Stabel Oncology Hospital. Uh, we have a 3D confirmer radiation therapy prostate plus lymph nodes phase, uh, at phase one whole pelvis. Uh, the, for the same case, the phase two prostate only we have we faced a, a difficult situation to cover the uh, whole area of PTV uh, because of the. Uh, uh, difficulty uh, in the 3D CRT uh, application for uh, this patient uh, and the li li uh, limitation, uh, the uh, 
uh, those to the rectum. Here, the DVH for the same uh, case, uh, the rectum have uh, re received more uh, doses than the X maximum, X maximum dose. Also, another case, IMRT case, prostate plus lymph nodes, phase one, uh, 54 grays. Uh, as you can see, the confirmation of the isodose lines to the uh, PTV and the sparing of, of the organs at risk, like rectum. For the same uh, uh, case, uh, phase two, 26 grays, to total dose to prostate uh, 80 gray. Uh, here we can see the uh, sparing, good sparing for the rectum and uh, bladder organs at risk and the head of femurs. The uh, DVH for this uh, case uh, uh, showed that the uh, uh, rectum is, uh, uh, can receive uh, lower uh, doses than the 3D conform radiation therapy. Here we have uh, a comprehensive comparison of IMRT and VMAT uh, plan quality for prostate cancer treatments. Conclusion for this trial, considering the superior plan quality as well as the delivery efficiency of VMAT compared with that of IMRT. The VMAT may be uh, the preferred modality for treating prostate. The same, uh, the, the same result for this uh, trial, VMAT has advantages to reduce significantly the number of monitor units and the treatment time. Uh, this, uh, this trial uh, is uh, discussed uh, by uh, Professor Dr. Robert at, uh, at, uh, at his uh, perfect co uh, talk. So we, we uh, will pass it. This is a brachytherapy unit at Alexandria Adel Mustakbal Oncology uh, Hospital. Uh, taken uh, account, uh, taken on your account that IMRT must be applied very carefully uh, and the so the verification process is uh, very, very important uh, before uh, application of, of it. IMRT is a very complex treatment modality, therefore new quality assurance procedures must be implemented throughout the complete clinical process. Because a, ver a verification of those dis uh, distributions within the real uh, patient isn't possible, the phantom uh, substitution method is often used. We have at Alexandria Adel Mustakbal Oncology Hospital, we have two uh, devices or, uh, for verification, IMRT verification and VMET. Uh, here we have the PTW Octavius 4D, uh, 4D Phantom. and the Archicheck Phantom from uh, Sun Nuclear, which is uh, used uh, at the uh, uh, B, uh, vital beam uh, machine or uh, varium, varium machine. Uh, this is a comparison of uh, the planned uh, dose map and the uh, measured one point to point. To get an accurate treatment, you should uh, have a, a, a very uh, perfect uh, quality assurance for your machines. Uh, so you, you should uh, take into consideration to uh, have it uh, daily and weekly and uh, monthly and annually uh, quality assurance program at your uh, hospital. Don't try any uh, thing, uh, especially the advanced uh, uh, techniques like IMRT without uh, having a, an excellent experience about it. 
medical physics training, you can't get uh, uh, the acquired benefit from radiotherapy without having an, uh, a professional uh, medical physicist, uh, well-trained uh, medical physicist. So please uh, keep about uh, them and uh, make uh, all uh, ways to, to have an experience uh, with training uh, available. Uh, this, this, uh, these are some uh, groups of the training uh, medical physics for training medical physics at Alexandria del Mustakbal. This year we can't uh, celebrate with the International Day of Medical Physics, so uh, uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we have uh, missed it. These um, my colleagues, uh, medical physics at Alexandria del Mustakbal, uh, the great team, uh, and uh, meeting at Einstein Cafe. Thank you so much. Question. Thank you, Dr. Sabahi. And uh, now we introduce Dr. Mustafa Eldali. He, was, he will talk about Nemorok Brachytherapy Unit highlights on first two years of gynecological brachytherapy. Dr. Mustafa. Uh, thank you, sir. I think the presentation is recorded. Uh, and this will. It's supposed to work now. There is no sound. Uh, the sound is already recorded. Uh, if any one of the uh, uh, of the IT team can help for this, because it is already recorded, I send it since the early morning. <laughs> 